Freddie Mac figure it all out? Freddie Mac, a moderate liberal, raised Muslim, landscaper, real estate agent, rideshare driver, divorced father of three, who's still looking for love, is just trying to figure it all out. Can he? Well, he thinks he can, and he's looking for your help. Join him as he talks about everything. Get ready for a different take on all the hot topics today. Not everything is black and white with Freddie Mac. Buckle up. Welcome to We Gotta Talk. Damn it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello and welcome to We Gotta Talk, Damn It, a podcast where common sense and like it. <laughs> I can't speak today. Okay, I got the Invisalign in. It's got the rubber bands to help me with my jaw. So, yeah, so bear with me here. Okay, here we go. Take 20. <laughs> Hello and welcome to We Gotta Talk Damn It, a podcast where common sense and logic rule. I am your host, Freddie Mac, a lack of lack attack. You can call me Freddie Mac, you can call me Freddie, but whatever you do, don't call me late for dinner. And make sure you have my chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream. Listen, you know, I actually am the inventor, not literally, of Cold Stone, right? I mean, me and my family... We have been doing this uh, as long as we can remember. We take that ice cream and smash it into uh, into the uh, the cake and just eat it just like that. So yeah, but um, you know, I didn't patent it, so they got all the money. But anyway, (laughs) anyway, welcome to the show. Um, Today we are going to be talking about. Uh, safety protocols when it comes to dating sites, when it comes to talking on the phone, and when it comes to the actual dates themselves. So, But before we get into that, if you uh, would like to be a guest on the show, and I have some great guests coming up talking about this topic here, the segment that we are going to be doing, it's ongoing, you know, uh, dating, um, marriage, divorce, dating, oh my, all in that order. I got um, uh, several people coming on and they are they are women because we want to hear a woman's perspective on you know the dating. Um, I have some entrepreneurs coming up. They are teachers uh, and they created this awesome game. Can't give away the game uh, the game yet or the name, but it's a card game and it is just funny as hell. It's great. It's fun. It's, it's an awesome game. I'm going to have them on. Um, and so we got a lot of great stuff coming out. So if you want to be a guest to promote your product, your business, just go to www.wegotatalkdammit.com and, um, you can send me an email directly at freddy at wegotatalkdammit.com or you can send an email right through the, uh, the website to talk about, you know, your product, uh, your business that you want to promote, uh, what, whatever it may be. Um, also if you want to listen to previous, uh, podcasts and respond to those, Uh, There's links to over seven podcast platforms that we are on, including iTunes and Spotify. Um, Also, you can uh, click on the YouTube channel, uh, hit the notification button, and uh, hit the uh, uh, um, uh, subscription button, and you are good to go. So I'm excited about uh, many, many things that are coming up on We Gotta Talk, Damn It, and I want you to be a part of it. All right, so uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Well, actually, before we do that, this is a, a We Gotta Talk, Damn It mug. Spread the word, right? You can just tell people, hey, we gotta talk, damn it. And it can be whatever you wanna talk about, right? I mean, that's just, that's just how it is nowadays. We gotta talk, damn it. So you can get this coffee mug uh, absolutely free if you uh, subscribe and help this uh, podcast out. So you can subscribe for as low as 99 cents a month. Um, or you can uh, subscribe for $4.99 and up and you get yourself a coffee mug over $4.99. You get yourself a coffee mug and a, we got to talk damn it t-shirt. So, all right, so let's get to the nitty gritty today. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, being safe, um, in the dating world, right? From the dating sites to the actual date itself. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on out there with the dating, uh, dating uh, world, right? If you haven't listened to my last podcast, I highly recommend it. it's horror stories that I've experienced. And I know I'm not the only one that has, has experienced these, these horror stories in, in the dating world. Um, so, so check it out. It's it, it, people were responding to it. Fred, come on, Fred, you're kidding me. This really happened. I said, I swear, <laughs> I swear I got the text messages. 
Yeah, I, I swear, I swear. So check it out. Yeah, check it out. Let me know. I want to hear your horror story too. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it on the air just because. These horror stories actually help, right? It makes you aware. It makes you, you know, like, wait, oh, red flag, right? This, you know, Freddie Mac experienced this or John Doe or not John Doe, but John or whoever, you know, experienced John Doe. Well, John Doe is, you know, I don't know. We don't want to go there. Anyway, all right, let's get going here. So a lot going on out there. There's sex trafficking. There's date rape. There's date drugs. And, um, you know, it's it's unfortunate, right? It's it's really, really unfortunate. And I know, you know, women have to be careful and men have to be careful too, believe it or not. Okay. Cause I've, I've had some experiences that were kind of shady and wondering mm, what's going on here. Am I being set up for something, you know? So it's, it's being safe in a different way, right? I mean, you, you know, you have to worry about sex trafficking. You got to worry about date, uh, date drugs and being raped, et cetera. And of course, men got to worry about sex trafficking too, because it happens uh, with both both genders, of course. Uh, no question about that. So I'm in search of somebody actually who is an expert on uh, sex trafficking, because I'll tell you what, it is ugly out there. It's bad. I've heard the stats. I don't get it. I don't understand who these filthy, disgusting people are who are doing this, but I think we need more awareness on, on sex trafficking. So if you know anybody who would like to come on the show and talk about it, please let me know. So so the best advice that I can give when you first start engaging in a dating site, okay? So to me, the best dating site out there is eHarmony. You pay uh, and you don't search. You don't scroll. You don't do anything. They find somebody for you. So that's the best. Free dating sites. You get a lot of riffraff. You get a lot of fake profiles. And we're going to talk about how to spot a fake profile. So... Now, uh, uh, the best advice I can give when you're on a dating site is chill. Just chill, especially if you're engaging and talking to somebody. Don't l- Listen, we've all had bad experiences in our life. We can write a laundry list of all of the, the bad experiences that we had with one particular person that we were dating, right? Don't let one little thing that, that the new person says trigger you. Just relax. Just calm down. Not all men are the same. Not all women are the same. And just because they may say something or do something that reminds you of the bad experience doesn't mean that you're going to have a bad experience. Just take a nice deep breath and relax. Okay? And go through the process. Just go through the process and see what happens and be smart and be aware and understand your surroundings. That's all. To me, it's just simple. Right? common sense it's just common sense okay uh and you know, just don't always assume that somebody's going to be bad right unless they come right out and just are obnoxious and rude and nasty and you know i've had that then you know it's 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 time to go okay so don't get triggered uh chill out because you just could be letting your soulmate go away if you get triggered too quickly okay that goes for guys both right men and women absolutely so all right let's go over a few safety protocol stuff when it comes to dating dating sites etc so now I, I i've talked to a lot of women and i'm a very inquisitive guy so when i'm on a date i ask what are your experiences i just want to know i, I want to know what they are actually experiencing and oh my god i don't do any of the things that these guys do never Ever do I do any of these things? I don't. I don't even compliment a woman on a dating site. I think it's, uh, it's weird, right? Even though the, she may be beautiful, uh, nice profile, you know, uh, she looks fantastic. Why would I compliment a stranger? It just comes off wrong. Now you might say, you might say, hey, you know, you have some, you have some really nice pictures. I love your profile. Um, can we chat? Okay. But, you know, I hear stories. Guys are like, hey, baby, you look hot. What are you doing tonight? You look gorgeous. Well, we all know what's on his mind, right? Control, alt, delete, right? I mean, it's stupid. So it's guys like that that make guys like me look bad. So when I reach out to you and say, hey, how are you today? Um, Hope you're having a great day. I love your profile. I love your pictures. (gasps) He loves my pictures. Wait a minute. One guy said he loved my pictures too. And what am I doing tonight? You want to get together. No, it's completely different. Completely different. It's completely different. So that's what I mean. Don't get triggered. Don't get triggered, okay? It's, you know, when they start, hey, baby, you're hot, baby. Hey, this baby. Hey, that's completely different than someone says, hey, I, I like your pictures. Um, I love your profile. I like what you had to say, what you, what you had to say about this. And, you know, you point something on the profile. Great. And listen, ladies, if a guy says, hi, how are you today? Don't get triggered by that. Come on. That's how a conversation starts. Just 
just chill. Should we say more? Yeah, most of the time I do. But sometimes there's not a lot on that profile. It's like, you know what? Let's start a conversation. Hi, how are you? Tell me more about yourself. Just chill with that. You know, if you're just going to say hi, go away. Just just chill with that. I, I can't tell you how many women have said, hi, Freddie, how are you? Okay, great. Conver- we're starting conversation. Okay, just chill out. Okay. So yeah, and, and I know that, uh, you know, uh, women out there, from what I understand, don't like the guys with no shirt, the motorcycle, the fish, the hunting, the gun, the blah, 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 blah. And I have to agree with them. Guys, why are you doing that? Well, why? For what reason? Just, I, I, I get show who you are in the pictures. I get that. Um, but put it in your subscription. Say, hey, you know, I like motorcycling. Um, I like fishing. I like hunting. Uh, they don't need to see the dead deer. They don't need to see the fish. They don't need to see you on your motorcycle. It, it just seems so, look at me, look at me, look at me. You know, show a picture with your friend, right? Show a picture of you, you know, uh, at a bonfire. You know, I, I, I get the impression that that's what women want to see. Like what you do on a daily basis. You know, fishing is once a week, once a month. You know, uh, you may ride your motorcycle every day, but certainly not in the winter time, right? So yeah, kind of chill out with those macho man pictures, guys. Okay, I'm just I'm just letting you know. Sorry about the ping. I thought I had it on. Do not disturb, but uh, apparently I did not. Sorry about that. So yeah, it comes off kind of macho, maybe even misogynistic. So just uh, just kind of chill, right? So. Um, you're all familiar with the word catfish, right? It portraying somebody that you're not, okay? You you act like you're this, but you're actually that. And and men are notorious for getting catfish. I'm sure women are as well, but I think men get it a lot. So I'm I'm talking to, and I, I it happened to me before, right? I'm I'm all in the dating sites. I got divorced. I'm ready to go. And then there was this uh, uh, looked like a Photoshop picture of this girl, athletic girl or whatever. And one thing led to another. I'm talking to this person, and uh, uh, here comes a red flag. You know, oh, well, I, you know, I went to Nigeria to help AIDS patients and stuff like that. And I'm not sure when I got when I'm going to come back because I have to collect some money. Bing, 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 bang, 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 boom. Control Alt Delete. Okay. Whenever anybody brings up that they're down and out, they they're not sure where they're going to get money from, they can't pay the rent. Control alt delete. Okay. All they want is money from you. That's it. Eventually I got on the phone with this person who happened to be a guy from Nigeria from Nigeria. So I was being catfished. There's no question about that. No question. But I didn't even know what the hell that was back then. I don't even know if it if that term even existed back then. I don't even know. And I also had a friend. He said, Fred, I, I was with this girl and it was really uncomfortable because she was very quiet. And how old was she? I was, she was 22 years old. I'm like, dude, you you know. You're 47 years old, man. He goes, yeah, I know, but she 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 wanted to talk to me. I said, yeah, but there's not too many young women that like you know older men. And you know it happens. I get it. It, it happens. But let me see the profile. Right? I said, dude, you're being catfish. She's a prostitute. I'm telling you right now. She's she's looking. So whenever whenever uh, that kind of stuff happens, where a really super young person is 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 being you know uh talking to an older man red flag red flag to me when i think younger i'm 58 when i think a younger you know woman likes an older man i'm thinking somebody in their 30s right uh not somebody in their 20s i mean with the rarity of that especially i can't, there was a i can't remember what the profile said something along the lines of um i really like to be taken care of by men um, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Cause I remember one time I, uh, I was reading a profile. We actually got on the phone and she said, I'm looking to be treated like a queen and I'll take really good care of you. Uh, translation, give me money and I'll give you sex. That's what that means. That's exactly what that means. Okay. So watch out for those, those key words. I'm looking for a man to treat me like a, uh, like a queen and I'll treat him like a king. And, uh, you got to watch out for that stuff. And if there's a 20 year old pursuing a 45 year old guys, I know the hormones are raging. I know I get it, but red flag, big time red flag. And besides, come on, date somebody your own age for God's sake. You know, I mean, really guys, come on. 
right? I'm 58. I wouldn't even consider dating anyone under 40 years old. I mean, even 40, it's a little bit different, right? I mean, it's, it's a little bit different, but we're talking about a completely different generation, right? Okay, so calm the hormones down. I mean, I get it, but just calm them down, right? If a profile says, and, and um, plenty of fish is notorious for this, because uh, it's a free dating site, so they get a lot of riffraff. So the paid ones are much better. I like eHarmony because you don't have to search stuff, right? They find somebody for you, and you don't really get fake profiles or catfished on eHarmony. I've never experienced it, okay? But on Plenty of Fish, if it ever reads in the description, looking to get married, I have never, ever read a legitimate profile where it said, I'm looking to get married, it's not going to happen, okay? Or if the picture, okay, uh, uh, the picture doesn't match the age, right? So uh, I, so many times I'll look at a picture. I have fun with it now. I, I have a blast with it now. I look at the picture. I look at the age. I go, yeah, she's 61 years old. What they do is they create a profile with all different ages, right, to, to uh, 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 pinpoint all the ages out there, right? So I'm like, uh, and I'll send a LOL to them or like, they go, well, and, and immediately they'll come back with, Hey honey, how are you? I'm like, I'm laughing at you. It's a bot. It's a, it's a way to, to lure you to either get information from you, uh, to, to scam you out of money or to, uh, uh, send you to a porn site to get you to pay for a porn site. I've literally had people right away. Hey honey, how you doing baby? Uh, see guys get that too, but we're being scammed. Right. Men, when they do that, they just, you know, think they're being macho and you're going to want them. Yeah. She wants me. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. So, um, uh, you know, I get that stuff out. Hey, handsome. How you doing? Uh, what's your phone number? Really? A legitimate profile would, uh, you know, somebody that has a profile put together and it's legit would never ask for your phone number right away. Never. There's always a few correspondence before you start exchanging phone numbers. So those are all, Red flags, control, alt, delete, stay away from them. It's, it's, it's not, it's not going to work. So if they say they're seeking marriage or they have one profile picture and it's a selfie and they're like, they look like they're 25, but they say they're 55, uh, have fun with it or control, alt, delete. Okay. I, I'd love to hear if women have, uh, um, you know, concerns about that. I am going to have, uh, some ladies come on. Um, and we're going to talk about, you know, their experience in dating too, because we've got to get their perspective, right? I'm giving you my perspective, but I'm also trying to give you the perspective of ladies. Cause I talk, I ask a lot of, a lot of questions, um, when it comes to that. So, uh, but it, when they, and so, you know, I'm looking for someone to spoil me. Uh, I'm looking for someone to take care of me. Uh, all red flags, all red flags. It's an, it's a, it's a money sex exchange. That's all that is. Um, so stay away. Okay. And here's some stuff that just, um, it's, it just seems to be common sense, but I, 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 I fell into it. Right. There was a time where I actually, um, showed my kids. Okay. It was a mistake. I, I, I realize that now I used to, you know, you hear women say, how can anybody put their kids on a profile? Uh, you know, I'm, well, I'm a family man. I want to show my kids. I want to show them my father, you know, blah, 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 blah. Not a good idea, especially nowadays. Just not a good idea. Uh, again, I'm not judging anybody who does it, but I personally don't think it's a, it's, it's a good idea, okay? Obviously, never give specifics on where you live. Um, I've known women that actually, uh, and I've heard from experts, experts. Listen, I'm not an expert, but I got experience, so therefore, I'm an expert. <laughs> um, so they'll get a, a, you know, a Google number. Um, you know, uh, they'll have a second number. Uh, for their their dating number, I, I kind of agree with that and kind of disagree with it because you can always just block people nowadays. It's just so, just so simple to block, right? But anyway, I mean, it, it, it's a in the past it wasn't that easy to block people. You had to call your your carrier up and say, I don't want this person calling me anymore. But nowadays it's just so simple. Especially I have an iPhone, so so super super simple. Um, sometimes I've heard women say that they'll put uh, that they live in the city. Uh, next to them. So if they, I'll use an example in my area, if they live in Sterling Heights, they'll say that they live in Macomb Township. Or, you know, if they live in Macomb Township, they'll say they live in Utica. Okay, so it's like the next town over. Uh, never give your last name out. And uh, I've done that before in the past. Um, I won't do it any, I won't do it anymore because I've had some pretty scary 
situations. Um, and uh, one was recently, listen to my last podcast, okay? Uh, but women like to know the last name because they want to search you, okay? Which I get, but come on, ladies, bring it down. And I'm going to tell you how, you know, you don't need to know his last name. You don't need to search him. You just need to be safe and aware of your surroundings. And I'm going to go over in detail on how to do that. So simple, just a matter of just a couple things. And you'll be as, as safe as possible. Trust me. You'll be super, super safe. Safe. So, yeah, stay away from uh, details on where you live, where you work. Um, uh, and uh, I, I'd recommend no no kids' pictures, no last names. Um, so, I mean, to me, this is just, just common sense stuff. So, so you're on the dating sites. You start with a few correspondents. Hey, how are you? Like, okay, long day at work, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so some... Dating sites are for one thing and one thing only, right? I mean, the profiles, right? To get a snapshot. That's it. You are not going to get to know them personally through endless text messaging on a dating site. It's not going to happen. So after three or four correspondence, I'm like, let's exchange numbers. Let's do it. You can get a feel. It looks like a real profile. It acts like a real profile. Uh, she's engaging. I'm engaging. Everything looks good. Let's exchange numbers. The phone number exchange and the text, because usually you text first, hey, it's me. The texting is for one thing and one thing only. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's me. Uh, can I call you tonight? That's it. Okay, not tonight. How about tomorrow? Perfect. The next day, you may say good morning. That's it. It's not for getting to, you're not going to get to know anybody through text message. Because all you're going to do is you're going to end up judging them. Wow, he misspelled that. Oh, he didn't put a punctuation there. Well, what if he's using voice to text? What if he didn't proofread it? What if it's auto text and vice versa? I mean, for a woman too. I mean, come on. Everyone's critical of grammar nowadays, right? You know, I mean, listen, I, I get it. You're, you are, you know, all that stuff. I, I get it. That stuff can be a little bit frustrating, right? But when it comes to text messaging, don't judge. You just don't know. I mean, it's just silly to, to judge that way, okay? So bring it down. Chill. Find your center, okay? So text messaging is not for uh, necessarily engaging and getting to know someone and, and going deep, okay? So that's not what that's for. Get on the phone. Get on the phone. That's when you're really going to start to get to know who that person is. And I'm telling you, within five minutes, I'll know if I'm going on a date with that person. I just know. Because uh, if they're not engaging or they're just bop, 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 and not giving you... You know, uh, in, and then you try to get, you know, two words in and bop, 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 bop. I'm like, okay, this is, this is not going very well. Mm, not sure this is going very well. So, yeah. So what I'm looking for when I'm on the phone is a good 10, 15, 20 minute, maybe 30 minute conversation of engaging, you know, where do you like to go to eat? What's your favorite foods? Where, you know, what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, you've ran. Oh, what have you, you know, engaging back and forth, right? Not a one-sided conversation. And then after 20, 30 minutes or whatever, hey, you know, I really enjoyed this conversation. Would you like to go out and grab a coffee or grab a drink or whatever? Uh, it, it, listen, this is a hard rule to follow. I do my very best. It doesn't always work, but one and done. And what that means when you go on the date, one drink, one coffee, done. You walk away, okay? Dates should not be expensive, especially on the first one. And that doesn't mean I'm cheap, not by any stretch of the imagination. But um, I've been in situations where I knew within five, 10 minutes that this date is not going to work out. There's no physical uh, compatibility. Uh, the in-person conversation is going way different than on the phone conversation. It's just not meshing, right? Um, so she may say something that she didn't say on the phone or he, okay? I'm not, I'm just giving you my perspective, but it goes both ways. Uh, uh, that, that may have been said at the actual date and you go, this is not going to work out. So why spend 60, 70 bucks on something that you know is not going to work out? Okay, so somebody taught me this a long time ago, one and done. I said, one and done? What does that mean, one and done? Go one drink and we're done. And then, you know, you sleep over it. How did that go? That went pretty good. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I could, okay, let call, hey, text the next morning. Hey, I, I enjoyed our conversation. It was short, sweet. Let's go out again for dinner, for lunch. Or how about we get together late and have an appetizer? 
right? So now you're, you're moving forward slowly, right? Instead of right off the bat spending a ton of money that, uh, you know, again, it's not a matter of being cheap. It's just a matter of being practical, right? That's, that's really what it comes down to. So um, when you're on the phone, some red flags are if the guy or the girl is doing a lot of cursing. I'm not a cursor. I do curse. But not every other word out of my mouth is F this, F that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's just, ugh. no, not for me. Just just not for me. They're constantly talking about their old dates. They're constantly talking about their old, uh, you know, their exes and stuff like that. Uh, red flags, just absolute red flags. It's probably not going to work, okay? So you're probably not going to go on a date with that one. So now let's talk about in person, right? Now you're finally meeting this person, okay? Boy, I'm looking at my time. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I like to try to keep these short and sweet, but there's a lot of information here, right? So in person, okay? Um, never go, never, never ever go uh, to anyone's house or get picked up. And not nowadays. I know back in the old days, we used to pick up and stuff and it was safe. It really was. But you know what? Just to be super, super safe and make sure everybody's safe and on the same page, meet at a neutral place, meet at a busy place, meet somewhere that you're familiar with, or maybe you even know the people there. Uh, so yeah, so, um, uh, make sure that, you know, if, if a guy wants to meet you somewhere that you're not familiar with, um, again, just say, Hey, how about here? You know, and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, always, oh, you know, always meet near them. Don't, don't let them drive. And this is not a macho thing. It's, it's chivalry. Okay. Just say, Hey, what, you know, what's your favorite, uh, place by where you live? And, um, you know, well, we'll we will meet there. Well, that's okay. I'll come to your neck of the woods. That's 30 minutes away. Don't, not, don't worry about it. You know, I'll, I'll come to you. They appreciate that. They, they really do appreciate that. So, I mean, I, um, uh, I had, a, I had a, uh, a date one time that, uh, was really weird. I mean, it was really, really weird. We met and then all of a sudden she was like, let's go to your house next date. I'm like, and I was attracted to her too. Right. And I was like, okay. And I got home. I'm like, no, this is not okay. It is not, I was divorced or, um, we officially, I was officially, we were officially divorced and I, I got, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know this person. I'm not going to bring this person to my house. No way. That's not going to happen. It, it's just not going to happen. So I called and she got all hot and bothered. I can't believe you. I canceled my plan. And the fact that she was mad and we only met once red flag. I made a good call. See critical thing, right? Think just, just think, just put some stuff together and, and use, you know, go with your gut go with your gut. So, um, um, let's talk about the actual date itself. Now I'm going to start off with this right away. Bring a friend just for a couple minutes. And what I mean by that is get there early, text the person that you're meeting and say, I'm already at the bar. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the bar or wherever you are meeting. And then if your, your friend is there, right. And then as soon as he walks in, say, you know, introduce yourself say, by the way, this is my, this is my friend. I came here early just to, you know, have a drink with her because I, you know, haven't seen her in a while, whatever it might be. Don't lie, but, you know, come up with something that's legit, right? And she leaves. I had that happen to me before. And at first I was like, this is BS. And then I actually understood it, right? As I grew older and understood what's going on here, it's okay. That person was being safe. This person actually brought their brother. We met, I went to the bar, she was there. She goes, by the way, this is my brother. Hey, hey, Fred, how, hey, how you doing? Hey, listen, I'm, I gotta go, have a great time. That person now knows, okay? A third person now knows where you are at, okay? So if, if, the, if, the, if any, if the guy had any uh, shenanigans in his mind, well, guess what? He may be rethinking now, okay? Because you set the stage where, People know where I am at, and I'm very familiar with this bar, okay? And then have your phone uh, be followed by your friend, your mother, your father, whoever, your best friend, your brother, your sister, whoever. Have your phone uh, on follow mode, right? So always get there first. Uh, if you don't get there first, then uh, wait in the parking lot until you see him, a lot of times they'll say, yeah, I'm wearing this and I'll have this on or I drive this kind of car or whatever. And then wait till they go in and then you walk in. You don't have to walk in with them. There's just nothing in the rule books that says you have to walk in with them or you have to wait in the parking lot. So keep yourself separate until you get to the bar. Simple. Okay. Um, 
So what happens when you leave, right? When you guys are ready to leave and say goodbye? Well, if you get there early enough or when he uses the restroom, um, just go to the manager. Say, hey, listen, I'm ready to wrap up this date. Um, do you mind uh, stepping outside while I walk to my car to make sure I get to my car safely? Simple. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Now, you may be feel completely comfortable with your date and just go let them walk you out to the car. That's fine, too. But it, but if you want to be safe, it's, it's okay. Just go to the manager or, or go to your, your your bartender and say, hey, listen, you got two seconds. He's, you know, uh, he's coming out and we're going to we're going to walk out right now. Can you just make sure I get to my car? Who's going to say no to that? Who's going to say no to that? Or you could text your friend and say, I'm leaving. You know, I'm leaving right now. And uh, you can even say it out loud. Say, uh, hold on one second. I'm just texting my friend, telling her I'm, I'm, I'm leaving right now. She, she wanted me to come to her house. See that? He knows now that somebody's expecting her to go somewhere, right? So just little things like that set the stage for anybody that's trying to pull anything that maybe they should back off a little bit, that this is not uh, going to happen, right? And that's good. So again, don't make things so obvious or, or make, 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 the, make the guy feel so uncomfortable uh, that he's not enjoying the day. The reason why I'm bringing these safety measures up is so you can enjoy the date, right? You don't have to worry all night, is this guy a creep? Is this guy a creep? Is this guy a creep, right? Or the guy, this woman, what is she going to do, right? Am, am, am I being catfished here? Am I, you know, you have... Protocol. A guy can guy can say, "Hey, I'm going on a date with this girl. She said something that kind of weirded me out a little bit, but I think it's cool, um, you know." And you could send, you know, tracking to your friends, your mother, your father, your best friend, whatever you want to do. It's okay. It can go both sides. It's okay. You're just being safe. But let's face it, uh, you know, I, I I truly believe that women need to be more cautious of of creepy men more than women men that have to be cautious than and, and creepy women. Even though I've had some bad experiences, right? Um, and, uh, kind of like, why does that person want to come to my house? That's bizarre, right? I don't know you when you're already wanting to come to my house. So there you go, folks. This is just common sense stuff. That's, that's all it is. Don't, don't be afraid to do these things, right? You're not being sneaky. You're not being, you know, you're not being clandestine in any way. You're just being safe, right? You're, you're just being safe. Cause you know, I, I've, I've heard this from women. They go, um, so well, what do I do? You know, what if I go on a date and the guy's really creeping me out? How do I leave? I'm afraid he's going to throw me in my car. Go to the manager. Just go to the manager and say, hey, I'm leaving. This guy made me feel uncomfortable. And even if he didn't make you feel uncomfortable, say, I'm leaving. Can you make sure I get to my car? That, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's actually being quite smart. And, and and you're being you're, you're taking care of your, you're taking care of yourself. I think I think it's absolutely okay to do that. So, all right. So just to recap, remember the dating sites are a snapshot. You're not going to get to know anyone through text messaging. The phone call shouldn't shouldn't go on for more than thirty minutes. You should know whether or not within that thirty minutes you're going to meet somebody. This is just my opinion because I I've literally had three hour conversations with people on the first phone call, and then you get together and it's like oh. This is not going to work out. You know, well, what is it, Fred? Well, the pictures weren't accurate. Um, she's talking in a different tone, almost like she was trying to be nicer on the phone than she is in person. I don't know. You know, personality change. So there's, there's a difference between texting and phone and a huge difference between phone and actually getting together, right? So it's, it, but it's steps though. It's like, okay, like the profile. Okay, I enjoyed the phone call. Okay, let's go in person. I like that. So let's go on a second date. Third, things are getting better, right? Now you're starting to get to know each other. Just chill, breathe, just breathe. It's all going to be fine. And use these these safety uh, 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 tactics, okay? So, you know, don't give a lot of personal information out. Don't be afraid to say, I've done it. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm not really comfortable answering that question right now. And if that person on the other side gets offended by that and says, well, then I don't want to talk to you, say, fine, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Believe, believe me, you just saved yourself a lot of headache. You just saved yourself a lot of headache, uh, plain and simple. So when you get together, I recommend getting there early and you can bring your friend in with you. And introduce and say she's leaving. We just wanted to catch up before our date, and uh, that's it. If you don't want to bring somebody with you. You can still come there early, or you can wait out in the parking lot until you see him come in. And then you can follow him in, 
or you go in early, talk to the manager and say, hey, listen, I'm going to hang out with this guy. Can I let you know when I'm leaving? And you can make sure I get to my car safely. Simple, right? So the reason why I wanted to bring this up, because I think too many people, um, uh, they let they they think it's a red flag, but it really isn't a red flag because they're thinking of past experiences. It kind of sounds like what my last you know, uh, a partner said it, it, it kind of reeks of it. Well, it, but it may not reek of it. So just take a nice deep breath. Chill, 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 chill. Everyone needs to chill. There's so many things you can do to be safe nowadays. So many things. Oh, so many things. So anyway, you can even order, you can even order an Uber, right? I mean, actually, I just thought of that. I mean, if you wanted to, you can order an Uber too there because you know, you're drinking, right? You want to be safe. And the guy guy, guy says, uh, can I walk you to my car while I order an Uber? He says, well, I'll, you know, I'll drive you home. No, no, you, no. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. Yeah, I really, uh, right now I'm just going to, I'm just going to take my Uber home. Okay. So, so many safety measures. So I would love to hear uh, your opinion on what I just said. Am I spot on? Am I wrong? Is there other safety protocols that, um, um, that you adhere to? I would be more than happy to mention them on the show. And I would love to have you on uh, to talk about it, okay? We can do it Zoom. You can come in uh, studio. Uh, uh, either way, it's, it's absolutely fine with me. So anyway, thank you very much for uh, joining me on this podcast. I hope it helps out. Um, I would love to get your opinion. Let me know what you think. You want to know why? I want to know what you think. Because we got to talk. Damn it. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Head to our website and suggest topics you'd like to see covered on a future episode, as well as joining Freddie Mac as a guest to talk about previous episodes or to promote a cause, product, charity, or your unique business. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time because we gotta talk, damn it.